Hello my friends, it's Milrev. Welcome back to another very useful tutorial. Have you ever wanted to be able to move- Uh, excuse me, Fluffy. You're in the shot. Oh no, I used all my stick nodons and I didn't have enough button nodons for the camera. Oh wait, well today's tutorial actually could help. Uh, we're gonna learn how to move the camera without using any stick nodon and only one button, so you don't have to have this view for your entire game. To start off, I have a pretty standard setup. I just have a person with a left stick for movement, and then we also called up a camera node on we attached to the person with a Y of 2 and a Z of 4. You'll want to give yourself some space for the next part. Go to Input, Motion, Tilt, and Auto. This way it'll work with any controller, no problem. In the settings, you're going to want to change the axis to X and also the mode to Angle of Rotation. Next, we're going to want to call up a map node on. This will be able to change the input into a different output, which will be useful for the next part. In the settings, you want to put the input range from negative 180 to 180, and the output range I found negative 0.5 to 0.5 works well for me. You can adjust this one if you want to play with the speed. Go ahead and hook your tilt up to your map node on. I found out this wasn't as precise as I had hoped. It was setting in the wrong place, so in order to correct the set of the controller, we need to add something to it. We'll call up a calculate plus node on, and I found that the sweet number for me was just 0 0.08. This changes the starting rotation of the controller, so it's a more natural position for me. Once again, if you have a different natural position, adjust this one. Next, we're going to go back to calculate, but this time we're going to call up a multiplication node on, and we're going to hook this to the bottom part of that node on. Now let's go ahead and call up a button. I'm going to be using ZL for my activation of the camera feature. Before we test this out though, make sure that your button you're using for your camera is set to while pressed, which will allow you to activate the camera when you want to and not when you don't want to. And then you can go ahead and call up another map node on, which we're going to run this through. The settings for this one are 0 to 1 for the input and the output 0 to 5, so we're basically multiplying it by 5 because if you don't do this, it's going to be way too slow speed. You can adjust the other map node on as well, but I found it too difficult, so just use this one to make it easier. Hook up the ZL button to the map and then the map to the calculate node on. This one is our vertical movement, so we're going to hook it to the up and down motion of the camera. I also went ahead and added a number object node on with two decimal spots so that we can measure the output while we're testing. Okay, here we go. I'm not pressing anything and when we hold ZL, then we can start to see the value and as I move the controller up and down, it goes just like that. Then when I let go at any spot, it goes right back to here. So we have the vertical movement. Next, we're going to make the horizontal axis, but it's going to be pretty similar with some notable changes. So pay attention and you'll be fine. Let's go ahead and copy this tilt right here, and we're going to pull it down here. Then we're going into the settings, and all we're going to do is change it from X to Y to get the horizontal rotation. Now we're going to call up a button press and get the same button you used before if you want to use a single button setup. The notable difference is in the settings, you want to change it to on press. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. Then you want to hook it up to both of these to be able to reset it when you let go of the button. Next, we're going to go ahead and copy this map node on, then head into the settings here. The only difference is that you're going to change this negative 0.5 to negative 1, and then positive 1. Now go ahead and hook this up to the map node on. The nice thing is we don't need to add anything. I found this works pretty well as is. So we're going to select the ZL and hold ZL, then select the map. And we can copy both at the same time. All right, we'll put it right here, and we're going to need to multiply them just like we did up here. So grab this calculator and move it down. We'll plug these into each port here. And then we're going to plug this into the horizontal axis. I also made another number object to measure this. So the horizontal is going to be black and the vertical is going to be the white number object. Let's see how it looks. All right, so we're running around, not doing anything. And then I hold ZL. And just like that, I'm able to adjust the camera any direction I want, left and right, up and down. As you can see, it's a little bit tough to get used to doing them both at the same time. So I would suggest we use a two button setup. And from here, it's not too difficult to set up. I'll put both of the links down below to the both games so you guys can test them out for yourselves, see which one you like better. And yeah, let me show you how to set that one up real quick before we head out of here. 
If you're looking for the two button setup, then you're in the right place. All you have to do is click one of the two buttons here and change it to ZR, deselect ZL. Then you're gonna go to your reset trigger here and you're gonna go in and select both buttons that you're using. So when either one's pressed, it'll reset the whole thing. So now if I hold ZL, I can control the up and down motion and it stays perfectly level right and left. And if I hold ZR, I can control the right and left motion without having to worry about it moving up and down. If you guys are trying to save as many buttons as possible, you might use the other one, but I would recommend this one if you have a button to spare. This still cuts the number of buttons in half or saves you a stick either way. I think this is the way to go. Yay! Now that we have the motion camera set up, Fluffy is no longer a problem. We can always shoot over him or move to the side if we need to. This is going to be extremely useful in the future, I just know it. Until next time, enjoy spending time with your pets, and God bless.